Okay, I've given friction to this too, but whether you like it or not, most editors are wasting hours on tasks that AI can now do in seconds. And if you're not using these tools that I'm about to reveal to you in this video, then honestly, you're already falling behind while other editors who are taking advantage of these AI tools well, they're editing faster and they're editing better. And that's exactly why in this video, I'm breaking down the seven AI tools that every editor should be using to edit faster, to work smarter and create content that stands out without replacing your creativity or making your work just feel robotic and cringy. See, these tools will help you save hours every single week, and I'm not exaggerating on that. They'll help you deliver projects exponentially faster and even make you more money as an editor because I mean, let's be real, time is money. And listen, despite what you might think about using AI, I guarantee you that this first one I'm about to tell you is one that you may not have heard of yet, but could start saving you hours and hours when it comes to editing. Now, the first tool you may or may not be expecting is Premiere Pro and or DaVinci Resolve. But Premiere Pro specifically has some crazy new AI tools. And before you click off, there are some new AI tools in Premiere Pro that a lot of editors actually have no idea about. See, there are AI tools that exist inside of Premiere Pro that you likely know about, like the auto cutting, the silence detection, auto transcription, etc. But what a lot of people don't know about is the new AI feature that Premiere Pro has that has literally, and I am not exaggerating, saved me over two plus hours her project and it's a new media search AI tool and it's next level. Typically for a lot of the projects that I edit, they're YouTube documentary style videos. And in most cases, I have a lot of random footage that I'm working with that I pre-download or get before the edit. So imagine in my scenario, I need a clip showing poverty, right? Then all I need to do is I need to go into that new search panel. And by the way, if you don't have this then just go up to workspace and then select search. Then what you need to do is simply type the keyword or sentence you want and Premiere Pro will automatically search through all the frames within every piece of media you have to find the exact clip you searched for. This is a game changer, especially if you're working with a lot of B-roll or a lot of footage like myself. But there is another game changing AI if you want to continue on the trend of leveling up your edits and making your videos feel more engaging without spending hours tweaking text and motion graphics. If that's you, then this next tool is a must have. And that's sub magic. Now, before we get into it, uh, I want you to imagine with me you take a, a long form video or, or even a short form video that you recorded and in just seconds, imagine in just seconds, it's transformed, it's, it's edited into a well edited, engaging short. And then not only does this pick out the best moments that actually make sense for a short form video, but it also lets you apply preset styles. It lets you create your own unique styles and even automatically lets you add B-roll and it does it all for you. Now I've tried a bunch of AI short form editing tools and I've honestly hated them all because they cut out random parts and they feel generic, they feel robotic and they create the same boring shorts that flood the internet with the same styles. And a lot of times when AI cuts shorts, it doesn't even make sense. But ever since I started using sub magic, I've actually been having a lot of fun making shorts again, something I didn't really like doing with AI. This tool gives you way more customization than any other AI short editor that I have tried, hands down. I've even tried the Pro Opus clips and I still didn't like it. The reason I like Submagic so much is because you're not stuck within the parameters of the basic templates that we're all given. You can actually tweak styles, fonts, animations, and you can have B-roll automatically added but that's not my favorite part. My favorite part is the fact that I can actually create my own unique style and kind of templatize and, and systemize everything and make my workflow way faster. By the way, if you guys wanna check out Submagic or any of the other tools I'm mentioning in today's video, then I'm gonna link them all below in the description. But with Submagic specifically, there's a special offer just for you. So be sure to grab that in the description below. I genuinely, genuinely say this as authentically as possible. Submagic is the one I keep using coming back to. I even said I've used Opus Clips Pro and other short forms softwares like that uh, when it comes to AI and, and editing and I just have had horrible experiences Submagic has been really really awesome however this next tool our third AI tool on this list is also pretty revolutionary I've personally used it to save my own butt with clients who have come to me with footage that was practically unusable and trust me when you can turn garbage footage into gold or polish a turd, clients will pay you premium 
rates. And that's why this next tool, Runway ML, is awesome. The third tool on, on this list has completely transformed the way I go about client communication, really, because now I don't have to have the client be irritated at me back and forth. And I'm like, listen, this footage is unusable. I don't have to do that anymore with this AI tool. And what's cool about Runway ML is this isn't just like another uh, editing tool type of AI. This is literally the future of video creation happening right now. And I, I, I do believe that. What makes Runway so cool, so powerful, is its ability to do things that previously, like if we tried to do uh, before this AI software would require thousands of dollars in VFX. Uh, it would uh, require, as I said, a big budget and uh, just like weeks of work. Now, the cool thing is they came out with a Gen 2 video model. And with that, you can literally generate video clips from text prompts, which is insane. So let's say you need a cinematic shot of a sunset over mountains. Uh, type it in and Runway will literally create it for you. It's pretty rad. But where I have found Runway like really performs well or, or shines and where I've made the most money using it is with their in painting and object removal features. Most of you are editors watching this, so I'm sure you've had this, but have you ever had a client where, where they send you the footage with something distracting in the frame? It's like maybe a cup of coffee or something that shouldn't be there, or you know maybe it's like a, a weird logo on their shore, shirt, or maybe it's just like some weird object in the back. And one of those things just ruins the composition. Well, in the past, you would have to go into After Effects and do painstaking frame by frame rotoscoping. And it was just very time consuming. And I know that's changed a little bit now, but with Runway, you can literally just mask the object you want to remove and the AI will intelligently analyze it and fill in the background across the entire clip. I've used this so many times, I can't even count to save footage that clients thought was completely unusable. And then it made me look like the hero as the editor. And the best part is you can access Runway through your browser, which is honestly awesome. So you don't need the, like a $5,000 editing rig to use it, which means you can literally leverage cutting edge AI video tools that would previously have cost you thousands of dollars and weeks of time, all from a basic laptop. That's pretty insane. But what if your problem isn't unwanted objects in your footage? What if rather it's poor audio quality, which honestly is probably way more frequent of a problem? Well, this next tool has also saved me countless hours. This has specifically saved me countless hours when it comes to audio cleanup or basically fixing bad audio. So the fourth tool that has transformed my editing workflow in the sense that I'm just faster and impress clients more with it is Adobe Enhanced Speech. And see, this AI powered tool is specifically designed to improve the quality of spoken dialogue in your videos. And I know this tool does make you sound really robotic if you boost it all the way up, but there's a fine balance with this tool that if you go like 80, 70%, it's still cleans up the audio exponentially, but it also gets its low enough of a percentage where it actually takes away that robotic kind of vibe or, or sound. So if you ever have a client send you horrible audio or you've ever recorded an interview or voiceover, whatever, in a less than ideal environment, you know how challenging or just how time consuming really it could be to get clean audio from that, right? To get rid of background noise, echo, and just room tone that could kind of like really just detract from the quality of your content. So we covered objects in a video, we covered bad audio, but what if you're working with footage that just wasn't shot perfect? perfectly in general, or maybe the lighting was off, or more frequently, imagine the resolution is horrible. And this one is one that I've had to deal with a lot. That's where our next tool on this list comes in. And by the way, this one has also impressed a lot of my clients who have sent me garbage footage. They got it back and they were like, okay, that's crazy. I don't know what you did. It's called Topaz Video AI. See, this is I gotta say the best solution for enhancing low quality footage and making it look professional. I know there are third party plugins to help reduce background noise, but this tool specifically is like the same price point as those. And it, it gives you so many more features that you can use within it. So basically Topaz AI or Topaz Video AI, they use a uh, similar thing. I, I did some reading into it to give you guys a little bit more context. They use advanced machine learning algorithms to basically upskill video resolution to reduce noise and even increase frame rates. And that's how they're able to do what they do. So I've taken 720 footage before and I've literally put it in Topaz AI and I've been able to, to export it out into 4K. It's actually mind blowing, it's crazy. But where Topaz really impresses me is with the ability to fix, uh, I guess I would just say problematic footage, right? Like, I, I mean, have you ever shot something only to real or not shot, but as editors, have you ever gotten something sent to you to only later realize that it's just too dark, it's too grainy, or it's too shaky, or just a million other things that it's probably too much of? Well, in the past, this would honestly, I would just message the client and I would say, I can work with it, but otherwise, the only solution is to reshoot. However, with Topaz, 
now you can salvage any footage that, that would otherwise be unusable within those parameters that I just mentioned. This tool is so powerful, it's so incredible. Oh, they also have a super cool slow motion feature too that can create really smooth slow motion from regular shot footage. So imagine I shot something in uh, 24 frames per second, like your, what I'm shooting this in. I could, if I tried slowing this down to 120 frames per second, it would be like super jittery stop motion. What I can do is I could take this footage into Tobaz.ai and they use, I don't even know how they do it based off of just what I explained to you, but they're able to make that 24 frames per second footage and turn it into super slow motion, 120 frames per second or more. And it looks so smooth and so clean. It's really, really cool. So I highly recommend you checking it out. To move on to our sixth tool, I wanna introduce something that most video editors honestly don't even think about using, but it's completely changed how I approach my editing workflow. And that is ChatGPT. And you might not have expected this one on this list. I mean, I'm gonna go ahead and use this word. It has revolutionized my editing process. I have, I, I cannot tell you how much ChatGPT has helped. And I know what you're thinking. You're like, ChatGPT, really? That's not even a video editing tool. But that's the point. That's exactly why most editors are missing out on one of the most powerful AI assistants available. First of all, you could literally use ChatGPT as an assistant, but let me explain how I use ChatGPT to save hours, and I'm not exaggerating, hours in my workflow. How I use ChatGPT is to help me where I'm deficient within editing. So I am very well versed and my strong suit lies within storytelling and understanding the psychology of, of storytelling and editing and why we do cuts here and there and how to make people watch longer via those two things. Where I, I'm a little bit weaker at or I fall slightly behind on is motion graphics or animations. And it's something I'm trying to get better at. However, when I'm editing client videos and they want a really professional level animation, I use something called expression. See, it's like almost like code, but for After Effects. And I all I need to do is type into ChatGPT what effect I wanna do. And if there's an expression that I can use to do this and give me, please give me a step-by-step -step breakdown on how to implement this. And I have created motion graphics that I have been so impressed with that I would have never been able to do or animations simply by using ChatGPT to create expressions for me where all I need to do is copy and paste the expressions to create a lot of it. And then I give it, a, I have it give me a step-by-step -step on how to do the rest of the small little tweaks and stuff. And then finally, all I do myself is I just stylize it. This is just one of, I kid you not, probably over hundreds of ways that I've used ChatGPT to speed up and help me within editing. So I highly recommend you get on the ChatGPT train. And you, when you do, when you start using it, you'll realize that you could use ChatGPT with for way more than you thought you could. Now the seventh and final tool that has really helped me, not as an editor, but as a content creator, is Poppy AI. This is an insane scripting AI tool. See, I've used ChatGPT to help me write scripts. I've, I've just wrote scripts myself. I've taken expensive coaching programs to learn how to script write really well for YouTube. I have never, and I genuinely am saying this, I have never come across an AI tool that has scripted videos so good. None of them have even compared to Poppy AI. They make you sound human, they don't sound robotic, and they actually sound super good. And in fact, instead of me trying to explain it, it is such a unique AI software. It's not your typical like prompt to, to, to output kind of software or, or AI. It is a very unique, uh, innovative design and, and way of going about it. So there's no better way than for me just to show you. So here is a fully built out prompt and everything when it comes to Poppy AI. Um, and I absolutely love it. And this is what I mean. This is why I wanted to show you. It's a completely different workflow. You basically are building boards and you are connecting those boards into your prompt or AI assistant and then giving that a uh, prompt to script your video. And then it does it really, really well. Okay. It's pretty crazy. So with Poppy AI, basically the way I do this, and I learned this from another creator is, and there's many ways to do this, but the way I've found most effective is by learning from another creator who uses this AI a lot, and I do it the same way. So the very first thing I do is you break it up into three boards, okay? I'm just telling you theory here. I'll link the tutorial video below this video so we don't spend a bunch of time going over it in depth, but essentially, the first board is the style of the creator that you really like that you would maybe want to replicate for the video, okay? Next is, um, a series of videos that teaches script writing so that we can let the AI know how we want the script to be written. This is crucial because normally AI, when you write, use AI to write scripts for you, it sounds super robotic, like 
artificial intelligence wrote it. But when you give the AI prompts like vid YouTube Ladies and gentlemen, have actually, you ever wanted why? Like YouTube videos that actually talk about how to script really good YouTube videos, it'll then take that information to, to script the videos instead of its own, which makes it much less robotic. Then at the very bottom one is videos that could be related to the actual video. So this was for this video. Um, again, the script ended up being a little bit different in the end, but the top seven AI tools every video editor should be using. I was like, uh, for a test, I was like, let's do Iman Ghazi style because I know a lot of people like him. So I put some of his videos in this in this board. Then I wrote uh, my favorite three videos on how to script YouTube videos I put in here. And then I put the final one, which is other videos about video editing and artificial intelligence. Then I put those all in their own boards and I just connected the lines to this AI assistant. And then I said, make me a new script uh, for my video, the YouTube video, the top seven AI tools every video editor should be using an Iman Gazi style, letting it know to take from this board, whatever this board's name is. Um, apply the advice from the group Write HQ Scripts, which is this second one, to the scripts you will write for me. For my video about AI video editing tools, which is right here, the third one, uh, take the topic specific information from right here, the third, the third group, the top seven AI tools every video editor should be using. Write the full script, okay? Now, usually this is the only prompt you need to make it a banger script. However, I had a lot of context for this video that I needed to give it, okay? That being said, that is how you use poppy.ai. I'll link a full tutorial on how to build this out, but this is what I wanted to show you. It is so unique. It actually makes you put information to give to the AI to make the scripts feel more realistic and absolute bang. So there you have it, the seven AI tools that every video editor should be using in 2025. These tools have completely helped me transform my editing workflow, has saved me at this point, hundreds of hours and allowed me to create higher quality content in less time, which is invaluable. Remember, the landscape of video editing is changing constantly and rapidly. So the editors who do embrace these AI tools, they'll be miles ahead. You will be miles ahead of those who resist them. Now, I've put links to all these tools, as I mentioned in the description below, alongside with some special offers I've negotiated for you when it comes to Submagic. And before we go, I do wanna let you know, if you're serious about taking your video editing to the next level, well, I have a school community all about how to become a better video editor, storyteller, how to understand the psychology of video editing, but also how to create a, a profitable business as an editor. And we've helped students get great results and we're focused on growing editors and taking editors from where they are to being able to have a profitable business and also just work with clients that they love and create content that they love. So if you're interested in that, go ahead and check that out below. If you do wanna learn how to get video editing clients without joining my school community and you wanna learn how to do it without having a portfolio, then you can click on this video and watch this next. With that being said, I'm rooting for you and thanks for watching.